Okay, hello guys. So in May 2023, registration has also started. Uh, so I'll be talking about first the important dates and you know uh, about the examination structure and everything. I'll be talking in other video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fill the form, which I'm basically going to do it live more or less, and the mistakes which people make and which you should not be making, like about the uh, examination center, uh, about the course or the colleges which you select. Right? So a few important points here. So I'm sharing my screen, guys. So this is number one. Right, so uh, it's already started from 1st August, 10th October is the last date to register. You can see this uh, PPT here. So just hold on, I think now I'll be able to see it better. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is it guys. Right, and you can schedule your exam now also. Now, when should you specifically schedule the exam? So each student is different. His or her preparation, you know, uh, is different at different time. So guys, for that, I will prefer talk to, you know, your mentors and obviously our students should talk to us uh, and we'll tell you exactly when to or select which date, right? So the registration date, retake dates and everything is mentioned here. Just go through it, right? Now. I am stopping the sharing here. Now I'll directly go to the website and everything. So I'll do it live because there are certain mistakes which people make, which I wouldn't like students to make. So let me go through the uh, website here. Here we go. So this is the website. So what I'll do is now, so rather than going to the website, let's see, this is Google, right? So on Google, you type NMET registration, right? Now, this is important, right? So, see, the this this is the website. MBA.com is the website, guys. Remember this little thing. It's the MBA.com. Okay, don't click on anything else. Then it will automatically show, see what it is showing. MBA.com exams, NMET, it will automatically show. So, I'll stop the sharing once again. Here we go. See this, guys. Okay. This is how it will look like. Now, th this is the same website which these people use for GMAT also. So that is the reason I'm doing it live so that you understand the kind of mistakes you might make. So please don't do any, no login, nothing, no, no create account here initially, right? This is what is required. Register for NMAT by GMAT. However, you know, so many people will not tell you this, but I'm definitely going to tell you this. You, you see, ek bari dek lo pura. Right, trust me, nothing really much important. What, but once you click on this, another page opens up, and uh, go through this. Right now, what I really want to show you is there is something called there is a video these guys have posted that how exactly to register, right? So I want to show you that video here, guys. Huh? So I just show that video to you. Okay, so as I was telling you, see, there is this, I want to show you this video. That is important. So I'm sharing my screen once again. Here we go. So when you click on this mba.com, say this. It automatically shows and met by GMAT. That is important, right? It will directly come to this. Now, this is where we have to go. Plus, initially, please don't do that. I will prefer first click on this register. Basically the same thing, but yeah, click on register. Come down. See, we are still here. I mean, let's see, we'll get this out here also. What I want to show you is there is a video registration and payment. Please watch this video. So just for your information, I'm playing this video. So the video which I am going to make is going to be of almost, let's say, 40 minutes. I don't know. But this is a five-minute video. You know, trust me, compiled beautifully. They've actually given all information properly here. So my request to you will be, please watch this video. Welcome to NMAT by GMAT. To begin your application process, please visit mba.com slash nmat. Once you are on mba.com slash nmat page, 
<laughs> so obviously i'm not going to play this whole video here you know this you can see on your own it's approximately for enough five minutes please see this video properly trust me it will help you then you can go on register for enrollment by gmx so either on the first page directly or when you click on register also here so this remember this this is where you have to go register for admit by gmail so go there and this is something which they've shown in the video also so what they've not shown in the video is what all things to be filled in the application form right so where you can make the mistake right so that is where i will prefer focusing on so this is again, they've explained it here. So your first name, your last name, your email ID, please make sure the email ID is correct. Your, and now password, you have to create your own password. So big, so you know how to create a password. Make sure that it is a little complicated password, which you can only remember this. So you fill this. Yes, you have to click on this. You have to click on this. So once you've filled in all this information, yes, you have to click on I am not robot. Right, and then a captcha will come since I've already done this, so it is not showing me. And then create account. Now, once you click on create account, you will receive an email, guys. Now, now, why this video is important, right? All those people who have registered for admit last year, or might be before last year, because this is what happened with me, guys. I received uh, it, it told me that this email ID already exists. Right, I tried with another email ID, that ID also exists, which means I did all this registration last year also and before last year also. That means, see, that now you can't do anything. So now there are two types of students. One who is doing this registration, which means on this website for the first time. Then what is going to happen? You will receive an email. Make sure your email ID is either handy on your mobile or on your laptop. Go on that email ID click directly key you know there's a link they will give as soon as you click on the link it's activated that's it done after that what you have to do i'll tell you later and what about those people who have done this registration you know a couple of years back on the same website and now they want to repeat trust me guys it's, it's beautiful for all those people this is magnificent because i did this registration two years back or might be a year back i don't remember which year i did that they have my information stored till late. Something which cat doesn't do. Huh? So Enmet has my information. I literally did not have to fill the form at all. So this is good. All those people who are re you know, repeating the year basically to give this Enmet exam, their information is already stored. Some minor, you know, changes here and there, and you know, you'll save around forty minutes of time. Right? But what is to be done for that? If you remember your old, you know, ID and password, fantastic. What you have to do, if you remember the old and ID password, see, this is what you have to do. So once this, this whole process is here, guys, right? What you have to do, this is where you'll have to go. So I'll close this now and close this also. This, so I'm closing all these things, sir. Go on this. It shows login. It shows login here. So that is where you have to click, right? It shows login or it shows already registered login here. I hope this is crystal clear. So see, I'm stopping the sharing button here. I'm resharing this whole thing again. Yes. Where you clicked register for NMAT, the next button is already registered. So once your registration is done, you receive an email ID and you confirm there's a link you will receive in that email ID. You have to click on that email ID, you know, the link in that email ID and then only it will be confirmed. It's a small little thing, but remember you follow the process properly. Otherwise, see why I'm giving such explanation because students call either our counselors or one of the faculty or somewhere. Ki, sir, wo, 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 kar diya amne, lekin aage kya karna hum to registration hum kar nahi pa rahe you will receive an email. In that email, you have to click on, you know, there is link they will give. Only when you click on that link, the, your, you know, your registration will be activated. Then you can come here and use your ID and password to log in. I hope this is crystal clear. Now, please, all this is nonsense. Your email ID and password would be here. This is where you have to click. 
Now, point. What about people who did this registration a year back or two years back? They can click on this forgot password. As soon as you do click on forgot password, you will receive a separate, you know, email on to, uh, you know, create a new uh, password. So basically everything is related to email ID as of now. There's no mobile number right now, huh, guys. Please remember this. Check it. So this is it as of now. So once you put in the ID password here, click on login. Now you will move to, you know, uh, filling the form basically. Now let us see where you go. Now this, I'll have to show it to you seriously now. So I'm already reached my dashboard, guys. You will not reach here, right? So there is some, so I'm clicking on the dashboard here. You will not receive this. You will have to fill this, right? So there is, and that is why I asked you, there is a video, please watch that video. So there is something called NMAT dashboard. You'll have to click on that NMAT dashboard and you will be seeing something like this. So you'll have to click on fill form, this, this process, NMAT by GMAG. Yes, sub baad mein aega. All this which you are seeing, which is, is supposed to be later. There is a link here. This you will have to click on. And it's a seven step process. So since I've already filled in, so I'll be talking on now important points here. So here we go, guys. Yeah, so let's see this now. So understand this now. Let us see, just hold on. Yeah. So fill in all your personal information. Middle name is not compulsory. Your category, your age. I've already written all these things. Photo, please make sure your photo is ready. So all those people who have seen my video of the cat form filling use the same photo here right payments detail everything so i'm not really concerned much about here what is important is this please these people are extremely fussy about this huh? whatever you write here it has to be exactly same when you give examination trust me cat might not be that fussy about a few things here and there these people are so now why am i telling you this here your photo ID number is so obviously this is mujhe to jana nahi hai, abhi to maine kuch bhi likha hai. make sure your photo ID number is perfect Achse se dekke dalo. now this is something which is not mentioned in the video so I am telling you all this right so they will ask you all this now please don't click on save and next exit when you click on save and exit you will be exited and then you will again need to re-log in so this is for people who have to you know stop the process midway and they want to leave so if you want to continue, there is something called next ka button. I hope you understand this. So when you click on next ka button, then the contact information, yes, please make sure your mobile number and alter num numbers are correct, alternate email ID. Now, address for communication, trust me, I've written some random address. It doesn't matter, right? Nobody bothers about your address now. Koi aapko physically document bhejne wala nahi hai. So it doesn't matter, right? Okay, is your permanent address same as so this is easy so all this information which is easy i won't bother guys what is mujhe jis pe focus karna that i'll tell you so i'm moving forward now yeah yes this is it now ye mujhe thoda baat karna now again wo jo 5 minutes ka video hai so wo 5 minute ke video mein ye information nahi hai Right now, point is, I don't know how many people will actually be watching till now. Purana sunke gayab kar denge. So, uh, I really request yes, 40 minutes might be wasted, but please uh, focus on all the small little things which I tell you. Now, clear the decom in case you do not find your college university name in the list, kindly select other option and fill in the details. It's written here. If you don't find the name of your college or university, please pick others and fill in those details. Okay? Don't call your faculty for those things. Okay? Yes, my dear. And that is why I'm making this video. Number two. Okay? If it is completed, so let's say I've written completed. Which country? Most of my students are in India. So yes. Now I hit this difficulty. Huh? So, so this is a mistake from their side. Here they have written undergraduate university. Okay? Guys, it is not university. College ka hai naam hai. 
right means see this so i wanted to write down this, this college in um Goregaon. so guys listen to this carefully please apne college ka actual naam unke website se le lo so what happens is sometimes let's say you you, you study in nm now uh, and you will say nm Okay, NM mein there is Miti Bhai separate, Ye Patel is separate, Ye Bhai is different. NM has so many graduation colleges, right? So Mukesh Patel is different. So many colleges. This, this drop down has the exact name, right? So, you know, this is what I did. I, I had written Vivek Commerce College. No, it doesn't show. So I was worried, Kiyan, yaar, ye Vivek Commerce College to hai nahi, yaar. So we make kya karun? Should I go to others? Okay, you go to others and type it. No issues. But you know what? The actual name of the college is this. Vive Education Society. Some, some, some. Pura naam ye hai. And it showed me. So please make sure you get your actual college ka naam from your website. You know, KPB Hinduja College. Something like that. So I'll just try and see if it is there. KPB K B so again I I really know no. yeah just say B K Birla Institute of Engineering Pilani so people call it Birla right Birla College if you write down Birla College it will not show you I hope you understand what I'm trying to say get the exact name and write it here now this is in university and same is there in college. Uh, university basically means Mumbai University, Delhi University or whatever. So which basically means you have to put the same name in both the places, undergraduate college, undergraduate university. I hope you understand this. Dono mein same naam dalna hai, right? Because both of them have college ka naam itself, right? Then the stream and all these you will automatically get. So this may, I have randomly put something. Mode of persuasion. Uh, yeah, ye up please distance tha, part time tha, ye lick do. Right? Aha, now. Graduation status. If it is completed, to aapko yaan be lick dena hai ki kabhi complete hoa. So obviously 2023-24 jabhi bhi complete ho gaya. Thik hai? But it is, and then your CGPA you will have to write down. Now please remember CGPA percentage jo bhi hai actual likho yaan pe. Thik hai? Trust me, half percent here and there, it won't matter much. Okay? Marking scheme, yes. Agar percentage is CGP, directly likho, which means now they don't want you to convert CG percentage to CGPA. No. If it is percentage, write down percentage. If it is CGPA, write down CGPA. Very important. Aggregate done. Hai. Which means if it's a four-year course, let's say engineering, sabka aggregate done. Hai pe. I hope you are not just the final year. Same thing, if it is a three-year course, aggregate done. Hai. Next point, if it is not completed, then what? Now, this is going to be a standard question, I know. Year of passing. Are, hai, year of passing, you pass abhi, which means you will be passing. Can I say you will be passing in 2024? Right, 25 to allowed in here. So you will be passing in 2024. Write that down. Don't ask us. Or don't for that matter, don't ask anyone. Right. So write down. This is why. Now, even if you write 23, it is okay. But will you pass your graduation in November 2023? Very high chances. Nahi hai. So to remember two types of students in ka ho gaya. I just told you ki whenever you pass, just write it down. The problem is always for people who, have, who are still in graduation final year. So if you are in final year, year of passing has to be 2024. Now, there are few students who are first year or second year students. And just for the sake of writing or gaining experience, they exam to write which means they will actually pass their graduation exam in 2025. Do you are not eligible. So it doesn't matter. Kuch bhi likhna. Third category, KT aya hai. If you have got a KT, then what, guys? You will still write not completed graduation in year of passing 2024. Please don't write October or November because you are not sure whether you will be able to clear or not. So, 2024, you And jo marking scheme I hope this is crystal clear. Then, work experience details, please fill it because while giving calls, all these things matter. I don't know if I have 
नो छोड़ दिया सो इफ आई राइट यस टाइप ऑफ एंगेजमेंट इन एवरीथिंग दे विल शो सो दे वेरी कैटेगोरिकली मेंशन इज ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई 2023 टोटल वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन इयर्स एंड मंथ्स क्या एग्जैक्टली वो भर दो आप ठीक है सो टू सेव माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम दिस एग्नी आई हैव रिटर्न नो बट यू गाइस डोंट डू दैट आप पूरा भर दोगे ठीक है so then please don't do seven exit do next so i'm doing next now yeah now this again is important guys so that is why all these small little things are important which you know in that five minute video it is not mentioned okay please uh dikha hua dhyan dekho select school this is just the form filling okay now nmet let's say nmims You have to separately go on NMIMS का वेबसाइट and fill their form. उनका form आपको अलग से भरना पड़ेगा. Now that is true for all other colleges which accept NMIMS score and which I'll come to. The name next point is that only. वो मैं आपको बताऊंगा. So see, this is it. You can select schools from following countries. Almost fifty MBA colleges of India in India accept. एनमेट स्कोर साउथ अफ्रीका फिलीपींस इतने सारे कॉलेजेस हैं जो एनमेट का स्कोर एक्सेप्ट करते हैं अब मुझे इंपॉर्टेंट क्या बताना आपको देखो सी प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड आई हैव सेलेक्टेड एन एम आई एम एस यूनिवर्सिटी एम बी वो तो आपको करना ही है नाउ दे आर अलाउिंग यू फोर फ्री कॉलेजेस टू बी सेलेक्टेड नो स्टूडेंट शुड कॉल मी एंड टेल मी सर मैं इसमें कौन सा सेलेक्ट करूँ एंड टेल यू वाई तुम ये कॉलेज जिसमें सेलेक्ट करो या मत करो कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू हैव टू फिल दैट कॉलेज का फॉर्म सेपरेटली सो गाइस प्लीज बी लॉजिकल माय प्रिफरेंस एंड आई एम ब्लंटली सेइंग दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू गो ऑन वेरियस डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स आल्सो प्लीज यहां पे आप सेलेक्ट से आई पुट एडिशन का बटन एंड लेट्स से आई सेलेक्ट फिलीपींस ठीक है you know what will happen they'll start calling me does that mean they will call me for this uh, they will call me for this uh, uh, direct interview or something no i have to separately fill their form ab mujhe agar separately unka form fill karna hi hai to yahan pe naam likhne se matlab kya nikla so next point people will say ki sir if i don't write my my uh, the college ka name here i might not be eligible no guys no definitely no listen to this carefully whichever other college is so the best here i will prefer is let's say kj somaiya so let me find out if i have kj somaiya here i no, no, no i cannot see it see there are so i please go through this properly so many flame yeah this is kj som let's see So, okay, just so many yeah, accept and match score. So you have clicked on here. Then what? Good, fantastic. Your score will go to just so many yeah. Does that mean they will call you? No, you will have to separately go to just so many yeah website and fill in your details and pay the the form fees, right? Which means. आप यहां पे सेलेक्ट करो नहीं करो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आपको अपना एनमेट का आईडी पासवर्ड एनमेट का स्कोर कार्ड के जो समैया को अलग से देना है विद देयर फीस सो इट वुड हैव बीन बेनिफिशियल हियर अगर मेरे को पेमेंट नहीं करना होता के जो समैया का एंड इफ यू लुक एट दैट 5 मिनट का वीडियो देयर आल्सो दे मेंशन दैट यू हैव टू मेक अ सेपरेट पेमेंट टू के जो समैया फॉर दैट अब अगर मुझे पेमेंट करना है तो आप यहां पे लिखो या नहीं लिखो क्या फर्क पड़ने वाला है तो मतलब सर ठीक है फ्री दे रहे हैं लिख ही देते हैं ना क्या ही फर्क पड़ने वाला है द प्रॉब्लम वुड बी इफ यू राइट डाउन केजेस सो मैया वन और टू कॉलेजेस इन देयर गुड अदरवाइज यू आर ऑफिशियली अलाउिंग देम दैट योर स्कोर विल बी शेयर्ड विद दैट कॉलेज एंड दे विल स्टार्ट हैरेसिंग यू सो ऑब्वियसली कॉलेज लाइक सो मैया विल नॉट हैरेस यू बट अदर कॉलेजेस माइंड डोंट डू दैट डोंट फील मैं क्लियरली बोल रहा हूं आप भरोगे तो भी द पॉइंट वुड बी योर you are allowing your personal contact information to be shared with other colleges but aap aapko jo fir wo aapko call karenge simple form to alag se bharna hi hai my advice would be agar aapko form alag se bharna hi hai to chhod do na yahan pe kuch likho nahi likho kuch farak padne wala nahi hai i hope after so much of you know discussion you understand this theek hai 
so next pardiya maine so this is what i wanted to discuss here okay additional information yeah so how did you learn about nmed by gmac lik do so all those all our students please write down coaching center coaching center ka naam chup chap likhna your current background yes now again this information is important when do you plan to start your management program obviously 2024 जुलाई 2024 चुपचाप पूछना मत मुझसे जुलाई ऑगस्ट 2024 मार्क कर दो वेदर यू एक्चुअली डू वेदर यू एक्चुअली डोंट डू हाउ डज इट मैटर मैं कितने टाइम से इनका फॉर्म भरू मैं यही भरता हूं यार क्या फर्क पड़ेगा तुम जून 2024 करो चलो डज इट मैटर आई हैव नो आईडिया व्हाट दे वांट टू अचीव बाय आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन एट ऑल बट दे आर आस्किंग सो आई एम राइटिंग सो पीपल आस्क मी सर मेरा ग्रेजुएशन अगर खत्म नहीं हुआ जून तक अरे फर्क तू मान तू जो जो नवंबर दिख दे क्या ही फर्क पड़ेगा इट डजेंट मैटर ट्रस्ट मी डिस्कशन इज नो रिलेवेंस द बेस वुड बी राइट डाउन जुलाई 2024 व्हाई बिकॉज़ एनएम स्टार्ट्स इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई सो एफ ए बेट दैट्स इट अदर एग्जाम्स यू आर प्लानिंग टू टेक राइट डाउन व्हिच एवर एग्जाम्स यू आर प्लानिंग इस साल आई एफ टी तो नहीं है एग्जाम्स यू हैव टेकन बिफोर इफ यू वांट टू राइट राइट इट डाउन इफ यू डोंट वांट टू राइट डोंट राइट इट सी दे वोंट चेक ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट डजंट मैटर दैट्स इट इट डजंट मैटर यस हाउ आर यू फाइनेंसिंग योर मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम जो है वो प्रॉपर्ली लिखो ठीक है वेयर वुड यू लाइक सो दिस राइट डाउन राइट डाउन ऑल दोस इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन या दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट गाइस ये मेरे को बताना था आर यू इन एनी वे एसोसिएटेड विद हेल्पिंग कैंडिडेट्स प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी मैनेजमेंट एजुकेशन एग्जाम दिस इज कैटेगोरिकली यू नो दिस क्वेश्चन इज कैटेगोरिकली फॉर अस पीपल लाइक अस आपको सीधा नो लिखना डोंट इवन थिंक ऑफ राइटिंग यस हियर यू विल बी यू विल बी इन बिग सूप सीधा नो लिख दो ठीक है सो देन नेक्स्ट Yeah, so some declaration and which obviously you have to say yes, agree, then continue and you can see preview of the same form and everything. Now uh, the cost every year increases. So now the cost is three thousand three hundred and four. Submit and make payment. So when you once you have made the payment, then you know I'll tell you what happens. So this is this these are the steps, guys. Make payment here. Yeah, now add more product. So this I wanted to tell you. and made by gmec official practice exams there are two exams they are giving for 900 bucks this is the unbelievably costly guys so all our students are already getting i think either 12 or 15 actual and met mocks right so i think that should be decent enough aapke paas bahut paisa to aap de do i don't mind so this is it once you are done with this uh, once your payment process is done आप वापस अपने डैशबोर्ड पे जाइएगा एनमेट के डैशबोर्ड पे फिर आपकी बाकी चीजें वहां पे एक्टिवेट हो जाएंगी सो आई शो दो शेयरिंग शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन वन सेकेंड गाइज हेवी गो ये देखो सो सी दिस वन यूर डन इट्स ऑल डन राइट यू कैन गो टू योर डैशबोर्ड सो आई वॉन्ट टू शो दिस टू यू नाउ ये देखो ऊपर की तरफ अगर आप देखोगे तो आई कैन गो टू माय डैशबोर्ड अगेन दिस विल शो एंड देन वंस आई मेक पेमेंट ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल बी एक्टिव बुक एग्जाम स्लॉट रीटेक राइट ऑब्वियसली रीटेक बाद में होगा सो ये सब समय समय पे अपने आप ऑटोमेटिकली एक्टिव हो जाएगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट Begin exam. ये किसके लिए नाउ दिस एग्जाम सिंस लास्ट टू ईयर्स यू कैन गिव फ्रॉम योर होम ऑल्सो प्रॉपर एग्जाम गाइज ठीक है सो वेन यू गो फॉर दिस शेड्यूल एंड रीड शेड्यूल ये देखिए इट विल आस्क यू टू थिंग्स वन यू वॉन्ट टू गिव इट एट ए सेंटर और यू वॉन्ट टू गिव प्रॉपर एट होम माई एडवाइस टू यू वुड बी प्लीज गो टू ए सेंटर एंड देन गिव एग्जाम बिकॉज प्रॉपर एग्जाम एट होम चीटिंग वीटिंग नहीं हो सकता है दे आर अनबिलीवेबली स्ट्रिक वो पूरा थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री व्यू चेक करते हैं आपने गिविंग एग्जाम आपने घर पे थोड़ा भी ऐसा ऐसा भी किया दे माइट रिजेक्ट योर स्कोर इट्स ए लिटिल मोर रिस्की गाइस ठीक है इट्स योर कॉल मैं क्लियरली आपको बता रहा हूँ कि प्लीज आप प्रॉपर एट होम देते हो यू टू बी मच मच मोर केयरफुल बिकॉज दे कैन रिजेक्ट योर स्कोर एट एनी गिवेन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बाई शोइंग सम वीडियो ऑफ योर की हाँ भाई बिकॉज योर कैमरा इज टू बी ऑन Yes, आप अपना मुंडी इधर उधर हिला रहे थे दैट्स इट रिजेक्टेड बट वेन यू आर एट देयर सेंटर 
they can't do anything. Either they'll throw you out if you do something wrong. If they don't throw you out, that means your score is accepted. That's it. So preferably go to the center. It's easier because it's more, it's more riskier. That's the point. Okay? So schedule, reschedule, there are two options. One is at the center and second is when you are, when do you want to give it at your home? And that at home is for that this beginning. Okay? ठीक है तो फिर वो आपको पूरा बोलता है अपना अपना लैपटॉप चेक करो ये वो सब ठीक है ना बिगिन एग्जाम डजेंट मीन अभी देना है सो व्हेन यू शेड्यूल इट एंड व्हेन लेट्स से इन शेड्यूलिंग यू शेड्यूल इट ऑन लेट्स से 20th नवंबर क्लियर सो ऑन 20th नवंबर यू शेड्यूल इट आपको स्लॉट मिल गया दैट मींस ऑन 20th नवंबर यू हैव टू गो ऑन द सेम पेज सेम वेबसाइट सेम लॉगिन आईडी डैशबोर्ड और बिगिन एग्जाम पे आपको क्लिक करना है Right, so I hope this is crystal clear. So these are important things, guys. Okay, here we go. So we register, guys. Uh, now for scheduling, we'll take a separate session. You know which dates people should select. I'll share my PPT here. Shouldn't take much time. Yeah, here we go. So these dates I've already told you. Next, the fees I've already told you. Uh, rescheduling examination so let's say uh, you you pick a date and then by some because of some other the reason you cannot go on that day then just to reschedule you know which means date to be changed it's 1200 rupees plus taxes right so yes it is costly and it is costly right now why i'm showing you all these things here that now this is the cost for appearing for nm exam when you fill nm ka form because you know you separately have to fill nm ka form that again must be around 2000 rupees so you know just one exam and then form the cost is around 5000 rupees so but yes we definitely say nm is a good college uh, how how can i use the word just good it's, it's a fantastic college average pay is touching almost 24 25 lakh rupees uh, of nm mumbai uh, nm bangalore nm hyderabad these are also good colleges Uh, plus, see what happens is NM is a college which has got six hundred seats just in their Mumbai campus. So you know, it is as good as you know you can take it as five Jamna Lal Bajaj. So obviously JB is at a different level, but the number of seats in JB and number of seats in NM, if you compare, there is huge difference. So very high chances of getting selected. Right? Remember this point. Okay. uh the attempt strategy so when when you take your first attempt it all depends on that very very important guys nm will only consider your first attempt aapne jo first attempt diya na wohi nm ims consider karega to aap bolenge sir to fir ye second or third attempt dene ki zarurat kya right between the given dates right you can give an nm three and met ka exam three times So what is the point of giving it second time? Zero kya fir? There are forty nine colleges which accept NMET ka score, NMIMS, and even last year KJ Somaya. These are the two colleges which will only accept your first score. So, समझो अगर आप आपका first score अच्छा हो गया ये दोनों colleges ने accept कर लिया fantastic. Should you give second attempt? क्योंकि when you give second attempt of NMET, मतलब in these three months only, then NM and KJ so many are gone, but there are other forty-seven colleges who will be ready to accept your score. So to better your score, give exam second time if you obviously have enough money in your hand. That's how it goes, right? So that is why people appear second time or the third time. Why? Because the other college will accept it. Please understand, I am talking in the same year. ये भी बच्चा कई बार डाउट पूछते हैं सर सर आप बोलते हो पहला ही स्कोर एक्सेप्ट करेगा मतलब मैंने तो लास्ट ईयर एग्जाम दिया था अरे भाई आई एम टॉकिंग इन द सेम ईयर देयर आर थ्री अटेम्प्ट्स यू कैन गेट सो इन दिस ईयर एनमेट एनएमआईएमएस एज अ कॉलेज विल एक्सेप्ट व्हिच एवर इज योर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट सेकंड अटेम्प्ट का स्कोर वो एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेगा दिस इज द टेस्ट स्ट्रक्चर क्वाइट इजी नाइट प्लस द द The sequence is not fixed. Right? You can pick your own sequence. So there are nine combinations possible. You can pick whichever combination you want. These are more or less the cutoffs of various NM uh, uh, colleges: Mumbai, HR, Digital Science, Bangalore, Navi Mumbai. This thing. So that's it, guys. There is no negative marking, but remember, it's an adoptive test. If it's an adoptive test, you know you have to attempt every question. If you leave a question, it automatically goes into negative kind of thing. 
ठीक है सो दिस इज इट गाइस दैट्स इट आई कॉल यू टुडे थैंक यू बाय